Hello everyone, Krydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. In our last episode, we really started work on the, the, the SS Synthus, our Aquilo-bound ship. And I just realized we need to take a screenshot for, uh, for the purposes of uh, thumbnailing the previous episode. So let me do that real quick. And yeah, so basically what we're doing here is... We've got the fuel done, and that's hooked up, and we now need to work on explosives and ammunition and smelting the iron. Uh, the foundries are gonna be the obvious choice for iron smelting. I probably only need one foundry, to be perfectly honest, um, to make iron plates. I guess we need two foundries, one to make molten iron, one to make iron plates. So two foundries, iron, calcite, and water? No, do we need water for that? I don't remember. Uh, I also need water down here. So we can maybe put this there. Let's see, so here's a water connection. Um, it could be a little dangerous not prioritizing water. So, we'll see if we have enough water or not. <laughs> um, maybe I can, I can prioritize ice. Wait, what am I saying? Ice doesn't go down here, Never mind. Um, so ice turns into water. That's pretty easy to do with a Kim plant. You know, I could make higher quality Kim plants. I haven't done that yet. Um, but these are gonna melt the ice, and how fast do these work? These work pretty fast, one per second. I have very little confidence in how, f like, I have no idea how fast we're gonna be getting stuff like ice. Um, really, really no idea. So, we'll start with this. Rod modules? Free water? Speed modules? Go fast? I don't know. Um, and then... Here's where things get hairy. So we've got the sulfur. We need to take carbon, which is on... Well, this belt. This is carbon right here. And that's going to be carbon and sulfur. And we need to turn that into coal and sulfur. So the recipe for coal... Ah! Is... Sulfur, carbon, and water. In one of these. Um... So sulfur, carbon, and water. Oh god, I have no idea what I'm doing so close to the hub here. I guess that's okay. Oh no, we need room for water. So if we're doing coal synthesis... I kind of want a beacon for everything here, though. Maybe I can fit a beacon in just, like, right there. Yeah, maybe I put the coal out on the edge like this or something. And then the carbon and sulfur come from here. This is feeling top tier jank right now. Uh, but I love it. Here comes the Kim plants. <laughs> That's cool. Um, that was neat. Animation timing. How many, how many per second are we talking here? 0.43? Uh, explosives... Come from 1 to 2. And then 2 explosives make... 2 rockets. 
Uh, this is the thing. I just have no idea how many rockets per second we're going to need, right? Like, and to some level, that's completely dependent on speed. Um, but I'm just going to say this is enough. Now, is that with the beacon effect? No, that's before beacon effect. Okay, we're fine then. Um, so sulfur plus carbon makes coal. So then coal is on this belt. And then we have coal plus sulfur makes explosive. Now that's a slower... And I don't think we can do... We can do prod mods for explosives. Oh, okay. So that's actually the same speed. Interesting. But if we're making the full amount of coal, we're gonna need... This doesn't use anywhere near the amount of coal we're making. Um... So I probably want more than one of these, is what I'm getting at here. Hmm. Let's do two explosive makers. Maybe. What if I put this here? Yeah, this is this is better. Um, and then I can do this. One more even. Okay. So there's thing one. Sulfur is thing two. Water is thing three. Ooh, we're gonna get some real water spaghetti going on here. spaghetti. That just sounds disgusting, does it not? Water spaghetti? Ugh, gross. Uh, like, imagine eating a bowl of spaghetti, but, like, pour a bunch of water on it. That's water spaghetti. <laughs> we, do, we do not like water spaghetti. Um... We're, we're, we're doing things. They're weird things, but they're, they're things. So, we're making coal. We're making expl- That's not explosives. We're making explosives. Uh, I'm not putting the explosives anywhere. That's now my new problem that I didn't solve. Um, I guess we move this down a tile. Thing where I put them on a long, a longy belt. Claustrophobia is coming back. Yes, it is. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. What's funny is there's so much empty space. This is like just the l least efficient build I think I could have possibly come up with. But we have explosives. And so now all I need is a really fast way to manage yellow ammo and, ex and rocket making. So we've already got a speed beacon right here. So part of me is like, can we just like make this happen? Uh, I don't think that's gonna work, but I feel like just one assembler is gonna be enough for yellow ammo when it's max speeded. Rockets, maybe not so much. But yeah, calcite and iron, let's, let's take a look at foundries for a moment. So calcite and iron are going to be accessible from here. So this could be our molten iron maker. And then that could make iron plates over here. I just hate not having the beacon close by. Hmm. 
let's move this down. This down here. Okay, um, I feel like there's enough space here to do what I want to do. Just having too much fun cramping it in. Yes, I am. I am having fun cramping it in here, for better or worse. Yeah, I actually do have room, believe it or not, for cargo bays right here at this point. Here and here. Um... Because, yeah, we're going to need some. We're going to need some to take all the things we want to Aquilo. And I could pretty easily change this into undergrounds and probably fit a couple over here. So I think we'll be fine. Um, I don't know. I kind of like... kind of like making molten over here. Why not? And then we can pipe that over to make the plates. Maybe here? I don't know. Let's just let's just try something. It's a little too close. Um what if I did this and this? I guess we can use stack inserters, because that's just for iron plates only. Um, and then we feed in the molten. Somehow, I... I, uh... Well, I know. What I need to do is just put epic beacon on that, so I only have epic beacons allowed in my inventory, or in my hotbar. Uh, definitely doing normal rockets in this case. Because the explosives actually deal less damage. I don't know. We'll see how how it all goes, but for now, that's what we're going with. Uh, okay, so then this, that, that, that. Five rockets per second. I don't really know what these numbers are going to look like. We shall see. I um, also don't know. I might need to go a little less prod on these and a little more speed. This whole tooltip thing. I really feel like there should be a better solution. Uh, crafting speed is... Oh, I didn't select the recipe. But, like, on balance, that requires 73 versus that requiring 12. So you need way more iron smelters than molten iron makers, but... The middle beacon is still normal quality? Ugh, you're right. Yeah, explosive rockets would reduce the need for bullets. That is correct. Uh, anyway. Let's... I mean... Let's just try it. What's the worst thing that happens? I'm willing to reload a save if the, the whole thing crashes and burns. Or maybe I'll be inspired and I'll eat the cost of failing. failing um, one of the two. All right, so there's molten iron being fed into here, making plates, feeding rockets and bullets. Rockets and bullets come together to become part of the ammo loop, which I have 
Unfortunately, not left enough room for. However, I can shift all this down with zero cost. Well, I say zero cost. Um, and then I can do this. And that. All right. So that's good. And now the ammo is here. And then we do that. And then we merge in. And then if I really, nope, that's the wrong one. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, instead we do these. And what I'm wondering is should we read the ammo belt amount? And we can set or do I just let it go? And just we always input priority from the loop. I think we just let it go. See what happens. Um, ooh, 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 sorry. These need to be stack inserters. I want the belt to carry as much density as possible. Um, I believe we are ready to go. Are there going to be issues? Heck yes, but I believe it's time or asking ourselves, what tier of solar panel can I bring up? I can bring rares. I have 46 rares. Uh, so the Synthus, solar panel, rare, 40. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, I wonder how many cargo bays I'll actually need. Probably fit another one over here if I try. take, but it can come back and forth a few times to bring more stuff. <sighs> Alright. So... Solar panels. We are officially powered up. Things are being grabbed. Oh boy, it's, it's going. Things are happening. You know what? We have plenty of extra platform. Let's just make things happen a little faster here. Oop, there's some iron. Exciting times. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not even feeding this. Mm. Hold on, there's already an iron and calcite belt here. This is kind of interesting. Let's prioritize iron and calcite to iron plate making. Okay, so then... Reactors are running. Water's not watered yet. Um, probably because there's not very many oxide chunks, but there's one. And here it's getting processed. There's some calcite and ice. There's ice into water. We got water. Uh, I didn't connect my water up. This water's not connected. But there's molten iron. Okay, there's some plates. I mean, things are happening, yo. Uh, where'd the sulfur end up? 
Oh, it was to make the coal. I see. Okay. All right. Wow, that uh, goes pretty fast. Okay, and then the water. Hmm, I'm a little uncertain about the water for power. Um, okay, so this can come down. Well, maybe. Yeah, because we're not going to have very much water at first. But will that be enough for the power? Alright, well, we're definitely hot enough at this point. So now water will turn into steam, which will turn into power. What's the power network looking like? 59 watts? We'll see what happens once it actually starts running. We need more underground. Doodad arenos. So we'll wait for those. Come on. There it is. Ooh, landed in a cargo bay. Nice. Good choice. Choice. Okay, so that water now. There we go. There's steam. Now we're rolling. Now we're out of water, but you know, understandable. Oh, I never connected my sulfur bell. That's also going to be part of the problem for not making explosives. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not as fast as I thought it would be. Then again. That has a lot of rockets. Like, if that's running constantly. That is a lot of rockets. I don't know, we might be okay, we'll see. We'll see, oh, we ditched some iron already. Interesting. Um, wow, molten iron is broken in half. Uh, why is this, what? what? Wait, I thought we checked this. Why did I do the wrong the wrong way? Huh. Okay. Uh That's easily fixable. I don't know when I checked it, I must have been up on something. Um cut paste. Don't miss. Cut paste. All right, there we go. There's the fuel. Are we out of power? Yeah, okay. I was like, why is this going so slow? Hey, thanks for the follow, Case TV. Not buffering the water is bold. Uh, let's see. Is that bold? We've got a lot of things that will fill up. Is there any? Yeah. No, you're right. The ice doesn't buffer very much here. I was thinking there was more of an ice buffer, but... Yeah, having having a little bit of. I think the word bold is incorrect. I think forgetful is the word you were looking for. Forgetful is the word. So yeah, at this point we we're gonna need a lot of water to like get things rolling. So why don't I? It looks like the turrets have ammo, and the yellow ammo is starting to kind of make the loops, which is good. Um, and the metallic asteroids are starting to build up, which is also good. Oh, these are not uh, beaconed, or moduled, whatever the word is. Neither is those. Okay. 
Uh, we also deleted some weaponry. Uh, let's see. Did I delete important thing? I wish... Hmm. I wish I could filter. Like, I want to see just my... Asteroid producer... Ranges... Or, asteroid... What? I just called a missile turret an asteroid producer. It's more like an asteroid deproducer. Uh, definitely not an asteroid producer. Anyway, didn't I delete some over here? What did I delete? I guess I just deleted a single turret. Oh, that's not bad. I can just put one right there. Okay. Because we still have the missile coverage. Yes, thank you. Target filters. Uh, let me do that now. Uh, target priorities... Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Big, big. Big, big. Alright. Uh, copy. Is there a way to do this without pasting it over every single one? There might not be. Does an upgrade planner allow for filter changes? Like it does for module changes? It might work. Oh, you're right. I could have just copy-pasted it as well. Uh, too late now. We're done. Uh, I guess we do want to do the gun turrets, though. <sighs> I forgot to do ignore unlisted targets. Whoops. Gun turret. Copy, paste, paste, paste. I don't know why I didn't do this before I copied and pasted them all around the whole platform. That would have been optimal. Okay. Yeah, poof, I just got those ones. Um, I think this is technically capable of spaceflight. Yeah, I mean, we've got fuel. Oh, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, let's see. We did forget about one little detail. throw it overboard uh maybe eventually for now i will i will keep it and hold on to it but yeah we could always overflow it okay so yeah the issue is definitely water everything needs water which planet has the best amount of uh, the, old, the old oxide chunks? You get up to 28 a meter. You get up to 28 a meter. You get up to 20. Oh, they're all the same. Really? Oh, I guess it's the mediums that are different. Mediums are pretty much all the same, too. It looks like you get slightly higher medium oxide asteroids on the way to Fulgora. It gets up to 8 per meter instead of... Or, it gets up to 9 instead of 8. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Uh, so we'll go to Fulgora. So, this is the maiden voyage of the SS Senthus. Just to go get resources, we shall go to Fulgora. And it's not happening because we're still waiting for fuel cells. Okay, we got it. Um, oh, is that a stack inserter? Oh yeah, that's a lot of fuel cells we're talking. 
But hey, we're doing it. We're going. We're going. Alright, so now we should see more stuff, right? There we go. There's some big boys. Ooh, the double grabbers are double grabbing. Good screenshot. Though we are kind of running out of power, too. <laughs> oh, they're so slow when we run out of power. Yeah, we, we really need the, uh, the reprocessing of the oxide asteroids, for sure. Maybe I should have gone to Vulcanus just because solar's better there. That could have been a better choice, to be perfectly honest. Oh, we're going backwards. We're sliding. Yeah, I mean, the question is, once we're saturated, will we finally start seeing enough ice? And that's the thing I don't know the answer to. But we are finally kind of filled up on metallics. And so if I did these combinators right... Ooh, I just realized it's going to try to set two recipes at the same time if we end up having enough metallics. Then it's going to try to set it to... No, it'll set the one. It'll only set reprocess, regardless of which of these I'm lacking. Never mind, never mind. Um, can I do... Hold on, hold on. There's a thing I didn't think to try is... Wait, I'm out of productivity modules? I happened to use exactly 50? No, that's... I struggle to believe that. Exactly 50? No way. Come on. Are you serious? What are the odds? Zero leftovers because of that. Um, That's crazy. Uh, yeah, but what I want to do is this. So I, again, get more out of each chunk. Um, okay, so this is working. I think the key that I would like to fix... Is this easy to fix? I'd like to prioritize water going to power before thrusters. Um, which right now is not fixable, but I think we can... So instead, we'll route the water to power around this edge. And then I think I'll put... Uh, it's all very tight. Uh, we don't have pumps here either, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go back. This was good though. I mean, I got a lot more of various chunks by doing this, uh, but we'll go back to Navas here in a second. In fact, why don't I just order? Order the return. I could make pumps in space, but that sounds like a lot of work. What do they what do they cost again? No, no, we're not doing that. That's way too many steps. Okay, now ditching carbon and sulfur shouldn't be a thing. I should be reading a belt further down.
I think that will help. So then here, I will just turn that off and we'll turn this on read. So there's that. Um, iron's just backing up. We've got a good amount of metal. Oh, we're actually we're actually reprocessing metallics. Oh, funny. We don't have we don't have them long enough. Because as soon as the inserters grab it, it goes back below the condition. But then they should put it back on. So eventually that'll that'll overcome it. And the ammo is now starting to really like saturate the belt. And that's stacked ammo, so that's a lot of that's a lot of yellow. Yellow ammo. Okay, what did I want to request? Um Available on planet 46. Of course, there's not enough. Of course, there's not enough. Um, I wanted some pumps. Yes, exactly. Basically. Okay, am I taking crazy pills? Yes, that's where all the rockets are going. And then I'd like to request Productivity Module 3, Epic, Minimum 40. Okay. So we'll get those. Alright, this is actually working. I mean, I'm sure there's something broken somewhere, but... The basics are all going. All the turrets have ammo. The grabbers are grabbing. The, the asteroid chunk loop is asteroid chunking. The reprocessing of self bits seems to be working properly. Um, now here's an interesting question. I think the inserters grab close before far, so when this stops, the ones that we already have should be put back onto the belt and it won't have to consume the whole outer row first. So that actually works out okay in this instance. Um, the other places, it won't matter because they're side loading. Eh, this one could matter. I don't know. So. I'm definitely glad we set this up because we are going to need to reprocess metallic chunks. We just get so much iron. There's no way we're going to need all that iron. Well, you know what I should do is bring up uh, assemblers of, of rarity. I have 60 epics. Sweet. Um, assembler. 20. Epic. 20. Okay. Okay, now we got our prod threes, so now our asteroid crushers are prodded. Oh, wait a second. Is this going to be a problem? I hadn't... Uh, you know, now I see it. Because we're not putting... Yeah, mm, it would have taken more space. Maybe I just should have put them on different sides of the belt to start and done filter outputs because then they would have been side by side from the beginning. Right now they're only side by side from here. I don't know. It's 
far too late to change at this point. Oh, these are just processing like instantly. Oh, they actually are finishing their recipe sometimes. These have already finished 130 products each. Okay. I thought they hadn't even run yet, but it, that actually is working. It just goes really fast. Cool. Cool, okay, so now the pump and that whole nonsense. Okay, so we want water. Basically, oh, this is so, so jammed in. Jammed in tight here. Um, a thousand a second? There's no way I could ever use that much fuel. Uh, these can only consume 600 a second at max. So I just don't need these. Straight up. Do not need. Uh, and that gives me a little bit of space here to mess with things. So we'll have a water doodad that's hooked up. And then we'll have a piece here. And we only activate this pump if water is greater than a thousand. So basically that always means I reserve some water for power. Maybe I even go to 2000. The problem is we then are prioritizing things like explosives coal synthesis as well above thruster fuel, but I actually think that's okay too, because those are more important, right? Like having the rocket ammo is always more important than moving forwards, because the more you move forwards, the more you need rocket ammo. So you want rocket ammo to be the priority there. I actually think that works out okay. The issue, I guess, is that we're we're giving power the same priority as those things, whereas we want power to have the highest priority, technically. Um, yeah, like our water is decreasing right now. Hmm. Hum de dum de dum de dum. I'm a bit concerned about water. Uh, unlink the water at the exchanges. Oh, did I keep something connected? At the exchange. Oh, thank you. I think in this case it didn't matter because it was done. These were backed up already anyway, but... Ditching calcite is interesting, because what that means is I would be more optimal if I wasn't using the calcite water recipe, but instead just used the, the regular oxide asteroid processing, if I had enough calcite. Um, I'm, I'm considering if that's worth adding a combinator for because we could read like is there is there is this full of calcite if so set the recipe to thing otherwise set the recipe to other thing does that seem reasonable I think that kind of seems reasonable because we'll get a lot more water uh, if we make that change because right now extra calcite is is basically me throwing water overboard, and that feels kind of bad. Or pretend, I should call it potential water, but it's basically what it is. So why don't I do a decider? Is there a way, hmm, a way to do this? Because I want it to output, I really wish there was an if else output. Like if blank, do blank, otherwise do blank. Um. I might need two combinators for this. Uh, 
Yeah, it's also entirely possible that we just get plenty of water when we're moving and it's just sitting here at, at Nelvis that we run out. But I kind of want, I guess things like beacons are costing us power. Um, so that's part of the problem. So at least if we're going to be sitting at places like Nelvis, we're probably going to have some power issues sometimes. solar panels here. Logged out from Twitch on Caster Labs. Why on earth? You work perfectly for hours and hours and hours and hours. <sighs> um, Aylor, you're not too late, by the way. We'll get your name in game, don't worry. But yeah, do I want to control this? So, so I would have one that measures if... I mean, I can just measure this same green... Yeah, why not? Let's try it. This seems easy enough to do. So basically I connect this same wire to the to the inside of that, and then I connect the outputs to these three, and then I'll just do set recipe, and this will just say if calcite uh, equals four, then we're gonna set the recipe, which is asteroid processing of the normal type. And then otherwise we're gonna, if it's, well, if it's less than four, we're gonna set the calcite type advanced processing. And then these are just gonna be set to set recipe. And that's not working. Why is it not working? Ah, uh, shoot, what did I do? There we go. The other issue, wait, what? If you need water, If I back up on calcite and can't make water from my power weight, how would that work? Even in the previous version, that would have happened. Because I was dumping extra overboard of ice or calcite previously. In this version, if we have calcite, we'll just only make ice. If we don't have calcite, it'll switch back to making both. So we should be okay. Um... But yeah, now we're getting a lot more ice. Because this basically turns 0.8 asteroids chunks into 5 ice. The other recipe is turning 0.95 chunks into 3 ice. So that's far, far worse. Uh, yes, sorry, overboard dumping is already set up over here, so that's not not a worry. Um, I don't need to dump calcite anymore. Uh, oops, just deconstructed a whole belt on accident. Yeah, I, I right-click sometimes on accident. I don't know if it's the way my, my hand rests or how I sit or whatever, but sometimes I like the way my hand is, my, my right finger just gets heavy enough that it clicks, and that has caused me some serious problems in games before. Uh, <laughs> especially when I deconstruct something on accident. Anyway, uh, Aylor, let's get you, get you pasted here. Where was your most recent? I don't know. Ooh, that one was in belts. Where, where can we put you that you haven't already been? That's the real question. We can put you, you know, we could put you inside of the, the other art. That'll be, no, that wouldn't feel right. We, we need to put salsa in there at some point. No, Waskly, it's not it's not a tired thing at all. Like I do it all the time. It's just it's something with the way I sit or something. I haven't I haven't really tried to science it out yet, but it definitely happens pretty pretty regularly in, in all sorts of different games and scenarios. So it's just a me problem. It's a me me not humaning very well. Coordination maybe, I don't know. 
But yeah, let's let's figure out if water's good. It looks like water's pretty good. Cool. All right. So, shall we? Shall we? Not just me. You do that too. All right. Good to know. It's not just me, Sneaky Pete. I do think it's the way my wrist is sitting as I'm thinking more about it. Like my hand is leaning kind of like like twisted more to the right. So I think I think if I were to sit, I, I pr probably not ergonomic. It's probably an ergonomics issue. Let's be honest. I need I need better ergonomics. Yes, yes, Waskily. I know your your solution is to filter the grabbers. But what's the fun in that? It's way more fun to see stuff get tossed overboard. Better to have grabbed and ungrabbed than to have never grabbed at all. <laughs> you can quote me on that. <laughs> um, I think we're good to go, though. I don't know. Let's let's try it. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to save the game. 44 pre Aquilo. And here in episode 46 or whatever we're at, I am going to say add station Aquilo. And we're just going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, Waskly, there are there are different problems that might prefer that solution, but the problems I'm dealing with right now, this is fine. I mean, to be honest, though, if we were to get to the point where we had so many oxide chunks passing us by, but we were actually grabbing equal amounts of all three, but then just reprocessing the other two, but then the amount of oxide chunks I had overall wasn't enough, that could be a reason to switch. But uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see our first big asteroids, baby. When do those show up? Oh, we're still on our way to Glaba. We have to go to Glaba first. I, I kind of want to look, but I'm not going to look. We'll, we'll wait and find out. We will wait and find out. I also might be going way too fast. OK, hold on. Uh, let's just chill for a minute. I want to put in a, a speed controller. Um, of course, there's one, one too few tiles right here. But yeah, let's let's grab a pump. And. Wait, what? How do you... Oh, wait, do you read the speed by connecting to the... the... this thing? I actually don't know. Um... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I didn't know that. Um... I'm just going to use that as a jumping spot. I could radar. Yeah, I don't have radars with me is the problem. Okay, so then we'll connect to that. And you will only work if, what's the letter? We have a need for speed, which is V. Okay. For now, I'm just gonna let it be manual. I'll put it at 100. I'm gonna, I'm gonna limit, limit my speed a bit here. I don't know how hysteresis is going to work with this, but we'll find out. We will find out. All right. Synthus, let's go. We're on our way to Aquilo, baby. Okay, so now it's turned off pumping. 
We're gonna go faster than 100 for a while, and then it's gonna drain back down. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see how that works. All right, these are these are mediums so far. Speed. Below 100, goes back above 100, goes up to about 125, then it goes back down again. Okay, so that keeps us going. Ooh, here's a big one. Here's a big one. Our first rockets. Yeah. Heck yeah. Look at how many chunks they give us. Look at all those chunks. Oh, this thing cannot empty out anywhere near fast enough. I need, I need better quality long inserters. But I have a feeling we are going to be pretty safe. I guess we could look at uh, rocket spent versus, uh, you know, produced to see if we're keeping up with spending. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? I do this. And I look at this. And I look at one minute. Oh, we're only using 40 a minute at this stage of the game, and I'm making 200 a minute? Yeah, we're good. Uh, why not use it? Well, Boca Insert is pointless with chunks because they all stack to one anyway, but it's because I'm going over the regular belt. I could use undergrounds in some of the under other spots, but here in particular, I wouldn't be able to. I guess I could put one up here and then go that, and then if it's on the... Eh, it's on the wrong side of the belt for that to be underground. But yeah, this uh, this seems to be working just fine. Sweet! I think I could go faster than this. We could go faster. Got plenty of water now. I'm guessing we have, yeah, about 150 of all the chunk types. Which should mean this is enabled. No, we go to 250 before we start throwing things overboard. Y'all, right. we got an Aqualo ship. Boom, baby. And not just an Aqualo ship. This could. This could be our new default for going anywhere, right? I think this is pretty stable um, for the inner planets, too, if I wanted it to be, though. It holds less than some of my other ships. <laughs> I, I may need to make some slight adjustments uh, so we can add more cargo space. Like, I may need to route these things a little different and go around or something. But uh, we'll see. Wait, cargo bays can have quality now? And that get oh, oh, well that helps a little bit. That helps a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I could, I could for sure fit. I could snake my way over here and just use this whole area. Uh, that doesn't seem that hard to do. All right, we're almost there. Twenty nine. We're ditching oxide chunks? What is this world? It must be a cold world we're about to arrive at. Indeed. Indeed it is. Although, I'm not there, so I can't actually descend on the planet. But, uh, we made it! Proof of concept! Okay, well. That being said, I don't think we need to restrict our speed to 100. Um, so let's up that to, like, 150 and head on back. Because everything seems to be in order. Woohoo! And I, yeah, I don't even think, I mean, looking at rocket consumption, we never even got close to matching production, even at the highest usage. 
we were still only at three fourths. So now it'll be consumed a little faster this time because we're going faster. So we'll see. Oh, okay, cargo bays always had the bonus. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the the recent chest update uh, was what changed that. So that is interesting. Yeah, it seems like I have enough defenses to go at this faster speed too. And this is almost my max speed. I think we saw the max was like 190 or something. So I might, I might just be able to use full, full speed ahead on this bad boy. Um, Cause yeah, there's a short time where the usage is above the 200, but uh, once we get closer to Gleba, like that reduces back down under. So for that short time, we can use the buffer of rockets that we have on the belt. And pretty soon the production's gonna be full, right? Like this belt has got to be almost full of rockets. In fact, is it? Like, are we there yet? Ah, yeah, almost. The buffers are starting to fill with rockets. So, so pretty soon we won't even be making rockets anymore, which will then further decrease our usage of certain chunks. Um, is this, this feels wrong. Yep, I, I don't have this set. This would break badly. Um, oxide chunk, less than five. Okay, there we go. No, that should be stopped. Why is that belt still running? Oh, cause this is not reading the whole belt. There we go. This one is doing the right thing, and this one is... Doing the right thing, okay. I'm not using my epic assemblers, oh my gosh, you're right. You're right. Ooh, doggies. Now we're talking. Jeez, that's, that's some rockets right there. Not that I needed more, but man. Okay. All right, I'm pretty happy with this ship. Let's see if we can... Yeah, guys, I um, I, I don't talk about backseating all the time, but uh, like, y y you guys can play the game how you want to play, and I can play how I want to play. There are pros and cons to pretty much every play style, uh, not to mention just what style I enjoy the most. So, you know, I get that there are certainly other ways to do things that might be better, and I might even switch to those later, but part of the game experience is playing and learning that, and like, even if you're right, it's still fun for someone else to go on that journey themselves to learn that that other way is better rather than you just tell them the other way is better. There are certain times where I do like to just kind of get told the answer and just go with it. But, uh, oh crap, that's the wrong one. But in a game like this, I definitely like to, for the most part, figure things out myself and etc. etc. You know, you learn, you learn things don't work after they stop working. Now, how can I, <laughs> speaking of spaghetti, um, yeah, I mean, I do agree that sometimes certain things can be a little too frustrating and, you know, sometimes you want a little bit of help, but I haven't really hit any walls with Factorio in a long time. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with Factorio at, th at this point in life. Now, how, it's funny, like, we have almost enough space here to, to do what we want to do. I guess I could move, no, that wouldn't help anything. Um, it, this thing is the problem. Can I just move that? Yeah, I think I can. Um... This kind of sounds like the castle music from Mario. Like, like a lot like the castle music from Mario. That's very odd to me. 
Yeah, there is a blueprint culture with Factorio that I think is a little weird. I, a surprising amount of people use other people's blueprints that, yeah, I'm kind of like, is that really how people want to play the game? Like, it's totally fine if so, but... I do think often you're, you're stealing your own joy by using other people's blueprints. There are certain things where I'm like, no, it really doesn't matter at all. Um like a like a balancer you know but there are certain types of blueprints that people commonly use where i'm like that does feel like you're kind of ruining your own fun by by doing that like like using someone else's mall blueprint is another thing where i'm like okay i get that if you don't really like that particular challenge where it's just a bunch of spaghetti to feed a bunch of this set of four ingredients to make this set of ten items, like in old vanilla Factorio before Space Age. Like, I get that if you might want to use someone else's mall blueprint or a balancer book, but past that, when you're taking, like, someone else's base in a book, it's like, wait. But at the same time, I have no judgment for people that actually have decided to play that way and they know that's what they prefer. There's a difference between gatekeeping and recommendations, right? Like, I would never recommend somebody watch Factorio before they play Factorio. Like, don't go on the Reddit, don't go on YouTube, just play the game and have fun. That's my recommendation. But if you know that there might be a cost associated with using someone else's blueprints and you understand that that's kind of how it can work and you still want to do it anyway, that's totally your choice. Because some people might just really enjoy pushing the base to its limits and not really care about the design of the base. If that's you, that's fine. That's certainly not how I, that's not what I enjoy out of the game. I enjoy the designing, but some people might enjoy the using of the base and not the designing of the base. And I, that's technically fine if that's what they want. You know, I think most of us don't, don't find that to be the reason to play Factorio, but that doesn't make you wrong if that's what you enjoy. All that to say, I, uh, I do think most people have that recommendation though. And I've seen many people on the Reddit actually saying they regret going online and, and finding blueprints or watching someone else's YouTube video. I, I see more people regretting that they did it than being glad they did it. So I think that's a good indicator that like, you should be really careful before you look at other people's designs and blueprints if you haven't tackled those problems first yourself. Um, but yeah, exactly, Aloy. Like, I don't think the idea is never look at what someone else is doing. I think it's more try to figure it out yourself first. Because otherwise, you might rob yourself of ever doing the thinking about those things in the first place. Yeah, so, so like, it's a big difference between, like, oh, I've played this game for hundreds of hours, and I want to go look at some designs and try them out and see how other people solved this problem, versus, like, I've this is my first time playing the game. I'm just going to copy what someone else did. That's more the, the type of thing I think most people want to avoid. Uh, unless they're really sure about what they're doing. But anywho, I believe we're an hour and ten minutes into this episode, so this is a perfect place to start to wrap up the episode here, because we are pretty much ready to go to Aquilo. So we are going to look at the tips and tricks. We're going to start loading up some things into the ship, and we're going to see... We're gonna see if we can make Aquila work. We're probably gonna need a lot more trips to bring stuff we forgot. So I'm not gonna try to pack everything on the first trip. Um, solar sucks, we know that. Uh, bots are weaker here. There's crude oil. The base, the player can end up stranded without enough support from other planets. Well, we've already proven our ship can go back and forth, so we should be okay. The surface can only be expanded by ice platforms. Concrete uses a foundation, protects the ice from melting. We need to heat things with a heating tower. So that's all, basically what we learned from the FFFs is what they're telling us here. Um, can you give me a hint? Um, if it's about Aquilo, probably not. I. I I kind of just got done talking about how I like to solve things for myself, so unless it's like a glaring, obvious thing that like for some reason I have backwards or something, I I think for the most part I'd like to see how this goes.
yeah, you guys are kind of talking about using blueprints as an example to build off of. And again, I agree with that. It's more like, have you tried solving it yourself first rather than the first thing you do is go look at other people's solutions. But again, that's even fine if you just know that this isn't a problem you're interested in solving for yourself. Like balancers are a good example of that. And I'm guessing a lot of people are gonna be doing that with quality gamblers. Because quality gamblers, the really good ones, require the usage of combinators and finicky stuff. And I think a lot of people are gonna be like, I don't actually care to sit down and design all of that. And I actually just want a thing that upgrades quality and I feed the resources into it and it does the rest for me. And I, I think that like balancers have always been an example of that. And I think quality gamblers are going to be a similar instance where a lot of people don't really want to try to figure it out. I think the, the auto mall uh, or like the craft anything machine is something that a lot of people are going to copy just because it's like, well, it's totally possible. And if I sat down for 100 hours and tried to solve it, I probably could. But that isn't the kind of challenge I'm looking for, so I'll just go find someone else's, you know, craft anything machine. And that's the sort of thing where I actually, like, I personally probably won't go do that, but I could totally understand someone else wanting to do that, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't fault them at all for that. Because it is a different type of challenge to design the craft anything machine with combinators and circuits versus, like, building the factory and building, you know, all this stuff. Like, those are different types of experiences. And if you like one more than the other, that's totally fine. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's start. Uh, I will be done with this episode here in a minute, but let's start thinking about what we want to take on the Senthus for our Aquilo trip. Um, I'll make a new little category here. So this is still working. Did we delete the fuel, by the way, when we redid that belt? I think it deleted all the fuel, which is why this is taking so long. Um, so we're definitely going to want inserters. And we're definitely going to want long inserters. Now... I'm going to just go straight for uncommons here. Which I don't think I'm making anywhere. No, let's grab this. Parameterize. Wait, what? Oh, that's the thing. Put that to red. And we'll copy that in. And then we'll say, just make a bunch. Okay, so that should... Yeah, it is rather cold, so I will need a big coat. Uh, unfortunately, there is no coat in the game. But I'm thinking we should be okay with our, our big mech suit. So yeah, power is going to be a thing. Um, I am... I'm thinking... thinking because like nuclear could work to start us out if i can get the the ice to melt um to turn into power i think we can at least kickstart things with solar i know solar is like one percent or whatever but we should at least be able to kickstart like an inserter swing or two with solar ah uh... So maybe I do nuclear. I mean, heating towers work too. I could take a bunch of rocket fuel and do heating towers. Uh, it's kind of either or. Some of it is just getting there and playing around with things and then deciding what I need from there. Um, so that's that's a part of it too. So we'll do heating towers, which I'm not making anywhere let's do that eh. 
I still, part of me feels so weird that these come from Gleba, but I do, I do get it. I feel like it kind of makes sense that they just used heating towers as an incinerator, because that's essentially the purpose it serves on Gleba. I mean, you do get power from incinerating things though, so I guess that is a pretty big power generation. Um, and yeah, we're gonna let this run a little bit, because we definitely want a lot of heat pipes, like a lot of heat pipes. And in fact, I think I might just make that faster. All right, so that's like a lot, a lot of heat pipes. Can can wait? Can these be made in a in a thing that productivizes? No, I cannot. Yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of options in terms of stuff from orbit. Uh, as far as I know, pretty much everything other than uranium and stone can come from orbit. So, which a lot of people have complained about this, and I kind of agree with them. It is really weird that you can't get stone from literally like a billion different asteroids um i kind of understand it from like a gameplay balance reason but it also is kind of funny that like wait i can't get stone in space where there's like all kinds of different asteroids but uh anyway so let's see I think mostly I'm gonna want to take some supplies so I can handcraft a variety of different, um, you know, a variety of different things. So we'll do like a full rocket of green chips, we'll do a full rocket of red chips, we'll do a full rocket, maybe two full rockets of blue chips. Um, We'll bring engine units, 200. We'll bring electric engine units, 200. I'll bring low density structure, 200. We'll bring iron plates, 1,000. It would also be kind of fun if it told you the total uh, inventory space, like how many slots this would all cost you, because otherwise you just have to wonder. <laughs> like, is this going to be too much for how many cargo bays I have? Maybe. Don't really know. Hey, Rayclaw, how's it going? And good night to you, Tiriterol. I'll be done soon anyway, so don't worry. You're not going to miss me going to Aquilo. I'm not doing that in this episode. We're just going to finish up with some prep here. Uh, steel. 800. Solid fuel, I will take a thousand. All the silica in the in the disk during the birth of the solar system coalesced into the planets and no no asteroids. Yeah, exactly. I mean, let's be honest, the number of asteroids we run into is also kind of absurd. Like, if you were going for realism, the, the asteroid density is nowhere near that level, even in an asteroid belt. Not to mention, most of the distance between two planets is not asteroid belt, even if you had two planets with asteroid belts. So there, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, stretching of realism that's happening here, which is which is fine. I like it that way. Uh, let's see. I don't think I want two thousand plastic. How about a thousand? And batteries for sure. I would like, yeah, 400 batteries is good. Maybe, maybe 800 actually. Um, now here's one I'm happy with someone telling me. Uh, are there cliffs? I don't actually know if there are cliffs or not. I know it's just an ice platform, right? So I'm guessing there's not cliffs. If there are cliffs, I'll take some cliff explosives, but I, I don't think there are. Um, <laughs> Next, he's going to tell us we can't walk around with nuclear power plants in our pockets. 
Exactly. Exactly right. Um... I don't really want 50 radars, that feels excessive. But I will take a little bit of radar action going. There is always, yeah, SE to bring us a bit closer. I mean, really, though, if you want more accurate space stuff, I don't think Factorio is ever going to be the place for that. You need, like, Kerbal Space Program or... By the way, those who are sad about Kerbal Space Program 2, I highly recommend you check out Juno New Origins. It's not the same, but it's it has enough of the same things, and it's, it's definitely similar. I think it's the closest thing to KSP that there is. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. In fact, I have some videos on it if you go look in the, the search. I do want to take Decider Combinators. Arithmetic Combinators, or Arithmetic Combinators, I should say. Take all the Combinator types, we'll take all the Chest types. Take some bots. They're gonna be real bad, but we'll take them anyway. Check the numbers on that. Rocket, capacity 10. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Lamps. They're gonna waste my power and heat, but I want them anyway. Power. Ugh. Lots of pipes. Definitely want pumps. Pipes. tanks where we need them. They're not hard to make. Not doing anything with rails. Maybe I want medium power poles. Just in case. No, I can handcraft those. Stack inserters. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, but those are being imported from the wrong planet. By default. I, yeah, I still don't, uh, yeah, see, this is doing that too. I still don't know the best answer for this, uh, but I do know something has to be changed to make it the optimal user experience. I don't know if I have the solution though, but just being able to do any planet when you intend to, when that item isn't being requested below, I think would be a good kind of like works the way the player wants it to solution. Because, like, obviously, if the planet's requesting it and your ship is requesting it, you don't want them to be going back and forth. That's bad. Everybody agrees that's bad. But it could just be smart enough to not move the item back and forth when both things want it. But. Yeah, and maybe they're just trying to guide the player to, like, well, maybe you shouldn't be requesting it from somewhere that isn't Vulcanus. I, I like the simplicity even though it might require some extra spacecraft trips. A lot of people do the same thing with trains, you know what I mean? Where like, you bring a bunch of items to a central location and then you distribute from there. You know, the, the hub idea. I think we are... What is going on here? How do I only have two of those by now? Something must be wrong if I only have two. Oh. Uh, yellow inserters are just never made available to the network. Or... Or something. Where even are my inserters? Hmm... Right here. Oh, they go straight into blues. That's funny. That's that problem. And then...
Wait, what is this? Oh, this was the old gambler that I retuned, right? For uh, making. And where did I put the. Oh, I'm going for 100 epics. That might be a bit much. Let's go for 50 epics. Some other day when I have bigger a bigger base, I could I could think about that. We're still spending all of our resources on like epic efficiency threes. Whoa, 95%! That sounds like so much, but the minimum for a building is 20 or whatever, so it doesn't it just helps more when you're fighting against the power increase on other things. Oh, but that does remind me of some other requests that we need. Uh, which is modules. I definitely want some rares, some epics. I'm gonna go with 20 of these because I just don't think I'm gonna need that many of the best variety. I think just having some regular threes is more than good enough. And then we'll do 50 purples of those and then I'll do 50 blues of those. Uh, beacons. I might as well request 40. Assemblers, epic, 25. Okay, that's a reasonable start. Um, we'll figure out power and stuff in the next episode. But yeah, I think we'll call this the episode. So as always, for those of you watching from future YouTube recording, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.